All right, so the festive season is upon us, bringing holiday cheers, sales and increased activities to our WooCommerce store. But along with these festivities comes a less welcome guest, fraudsters. Yes, this busy season is the golden opportunity for fraudsters to abuse your stores and carry out fraudulent activities against your business. Fortunately, there's a solution to keep your store safe and that is SenseFRX. Unlike standard fraud blockers, SenseFRX acts like a dedicated 24-7 security guard for your online store, ensuring fraudsters are stopped in their tracks. The holiday season is a prime time for fraudsters to target businesses and banking on the idea that high sales volume and the rush might keep their activities go unnoticed. Their tactics ranges from deploying both armies to hoard your inventory, exploiting promo codes and aggressively targeting gift cards. Basically, it's a carefully orchestrated attack designed just as to undermine your efforts. But with SenseFRX, you can outsmart them at every turn. All right, so now let's just talk about SenseFRX and see why it is different from all other plugins. First, you don't need to be a tech expert to use it. It's super simple. Just install it and click a few buttons and boom, your store is ready to keep fraudsters out. SenseFRX also lets you adjust the security settings so you can make it stronger without making your WooCommerce dashboard complicated. Plus, they have a testing mode so you can see how it works without any risk. And now, let me quickly walk you through the entire process of integrating SenseFRX to your WooCommerce store. So let's start, shall we? Alright, so the first thing that I want you to do is to visit the SenseFRX.ai website. So you can go ahead and click on the first link in the description to access the same. And as you can see, they have a cutting edge fraud detection software that instantly detects malicious activities. So the platform is capable enough to block fake signups, stop ATOs, reduce chargebacks, fight off boards and protect legitimate users. And obviously, the first thing that you gotta do is to create and sign up for a new account and click on this option that says get instant protection. And now you'll be asked to select a plan that is suitable to your business. And if you want to try out how the platform works and you want to play around with stuff, you can also go ahead and try it for free. So simply click on any of these plan and click on the button. And now you'll be taken to the sign up page and you can go ahead and enter your full name, business email and all other details and make the payment if any and complete the registration process. And now once you complete the signup process and log into your account, you'll be instantly taken to the SenseFRX integration process. And the first thing that you gotta do is to enter a property name. And next you gotta select the industry type and I'll select e-commerce. And by the way, I'm trying to integrate SenseFRX into one of my WooCommerce websites. So that's what I'm doing. So I can go ahead and click on next. And next up, it's asked me, are you using WooCommerce? So I'll go ahead and click on yes and click next. And it, and, and no. And now the website asks you to enter the domain name. And in this case, my WooCommerce store address is sl7.in. So basically it's a demo website and you don't have to enter any prefix, just enter the domain name and click on next. And as soon as you click on next, it will take you to this page where you get a property ID. You need to copy the property ID and also click on this generate secret option to generate property secret. And you need to copy these two things. And these two parameters act as the key to access the WooCommerce extension. And the next thing that you gotta do is to log into your WordPress account and go to this section called plugins and click on add new plugin and go ahead and search for SenseFRX and you'll be able to find the SenseFRX plugin. So you'll find a install option. So just go ahead and click on the install option and complete it. And once installed, just go ahead and activate the same. And once you activate the plugin towards the left sidebar, you should now find an option that says SenseFRX and simply click on this option that says SenseFRX integration. And now you gotta copy this property ID from here and paste it in here and also generate a secret and paste it in here as well. And now I have already done both these steps so I can click on the save changes option and your website should be instantly live and integrated to SenseFRX. And once the SenseFRX integration process is complete, you can head back to your SenseFRX dashboard and this is the kind of interface that you'll be treated with. So the dashboard shows a bunch of different details like accumulated logs, new accounts, active users, high risk users and a bunch of different things. So once SenseFRX is active on your website and if you give some time and wait for it to wait for some user activities and wait for it to collect all the logs and activities and details. And once you have enough details, you can come and log into your dashboard and find all the related informations here. And now let me quickly walk through the dashboard and show you what all these things mean. At first, you can find a bird's eye view of the accumulated logs, new accounts, users, and all of the details. And you can also filter it out by last seven days, 30 days, and last year. And now if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to find a section that says top users with highest risk. And in this place, you can find all the accounts that was flagged as highest risk by SenseFRX. And for example, if you look at here, we have a user called Harish123 with the email harish123 at gmail.com. And SenseFRX has flagged this account with high risk score. And to see why SenseFRX has flagged this particular account as a critical one, you can simply click on this eye icon right here. 
and now it will load a details page where you can find all the details related to this particular user and as you can see the risk score is 100 and it is compromised okay now we can find all these recent activities here and if you look at it at first the user we have a risk score of zero and the activity was logged in and the decision was allowed and if you click on the see observation option you will see that the user logged in a new device is found and everything else looks good okay and now the second activity here shows a risk score of 100 and it says suspicious activity and the decision was the user was denied accessing the platform and if you click on the see observations option you'll be able to see why the user was denied accessing the website our WooCommerce store so you can see users locations changed too quickly change in region city IP address and user account compromised so incident is triggered so basically let's say a user accessed my WooCommerce store from India right now and just after five minutes the user accessed my account from elsewhere let's say United States and now that's a security flag and sensor forex has went ahead and blocked the login attempt and that is what you see right here and these are the all the reasons that has contributed to the risk score of 100 all right and if you want to override the sensor forex findings and if you want to you can also go ahead and give it a custom marking and mark it as safe and you, you can potentially allow this user again okay now that's how you see all the details related to a profile and towards the right side now we can find the recent security alert section so if you have set up an alert and these are all the latest alerts that you can see right here then we have a chart showing the login attempt where we can see the successful login and failed logins in a chart then if you further scroll down you can see the user risk analytics and finally we also have where are your users so good devices and bad devices we have basically a chart and now this is all the data that you can see from the dashboard and let's just go to this option that says transactions web and i'll be able to see all the transaction flawed activities right here and the total transaction amount was three thousand nine hundred and thirty eight dollars and the denied amount is zero challenged is 997 and the allowed amount is 2941 and now if you come over to the top five section you'll be able to see the threats os ip and location and underneath the threats you can see the transaction amount rule test detected then we have different shipping and billing address detected and suspicious activity detected and all of these are custom rules that we have defined within sensor forex and i'll show you how to set up all that and if you move over to the os we can see all the request or the payment is from windows then the ip address and also you can find all the location as well and now as you further scroll down you'll be able to see details related to each individual payment and as you can see we have a risk score associated with each transaction and this one here has a risk score of 60 and this has 0 60 0 so all these are different transaction and you'll be able to see the decision the transaction type the amount username email and all other details and now if you click on one of these uh, transaction with high risk score for example this one i can click on the transaction id to open up more details related to that transaction and as you can see we have a, a risk score of 60 and let's see what contributed to that risk score of 60 transaction succeeded transaction amount rule test detected suspicious activity detected and the user is challenged and the final decision is manual review required all right now sensor forex found some kind of threat with this transaction and it's asking for us to manually review so you can go through the entire log and refer to all these details and if you feel like this is a legit transaction you can go ahead and click on mark approve otherwise you can reject it using this button right here similarly you can go ahead and click on all these uh, transaction types and see details as to why it was blocked in the first place or allowed in the first place now this has a, a risk score of zero and as you can see the transaction is allowed and the transaction succeeded and now if you move over to this new account section right here you'll be able to find the new account fraud analytics and this is the place where you can find all the new account creation attempts that was blocked or succeeded and if you further scroll down you'll be able to see all the log and for example we have this one right here which has a, a risk score of 100 and i can click on it and let me quickly open up the log and as you can see the risk score here is 100 and the registration was denied and the reason why this was blocked or this user registration was blocked as you can see is disposable email detected so basically the user tried to register on our WooCommerce store using a disposable email address and sensor forex detected it right away and denied the registration and that's why we have a risk score of 100 and also the user is now restricted from accessing our WooCommerce store using that disposable email similarly you can also go to this account security option right here and view details related to all the user account activities within our platform similarly let's just go ahead and click on this one right here and you'll be able to see a lot more details and let me click on this one and again this one was the one that we saw earlier so users location changed too quickly change in region ip address city and the user was denied login similarly you can also go ahead and click on this bots option right here 
and view details related to bot activities. So if a bot comes ahead and tries to access a website or resources, SensorForex will right away block it and you can find all these details right here. Now these are all the details that you'll be able to find from the SensorForex website uh, after you integrate it into your app. And now in this case, we integrated SensorForex into our WordPress website, basically WooCommerce store. And if you uh, click on this SensorForex option, you will also be able to access SensorForex dashboard right here. And you can also get a bird's eye view of all these details from the WordPress plugin as well. So, so the dashboard shows you the account security and fraud analytics, transaction analytics, and also new account fraud analytics. And you can also go ahead and review the order, account review, activity logs, and also go through the important settings. And if you go through the activity logs, you'll be able to see all the activities performed by different users on a WooCommerce store. So you can see a new account is created using this particular email address and attempted to register on this time and the new account was approved due to a low level of uh, risk score. Similarly, this one right here is a new sign up attempt and as you can see, someone tried to register on our uh, WooCommerce store and Sensor Forex denied access due to high risk score and again this one seems like a disposable email address so someone basically used a disposable email address to sign up on our platform or our WooCommerce store and SensorForex right away denied access so that's what you can see so basically you can go through this log and find all the details related to all the user account activities within our WooCommerce store and now the cool thing about SensorForex is that it gives you the ability to assign a risk score to each of these activities and it gives you the complete customization opportunity all right so to do all that all you got to do is to click on this woocommerce icon and click on option that says settings and now that we have the sensor forex plugin installed on our wordpress website you'll be able to see an option that says sensor forex and you can click on it and at first we have a section that says validation rules and in, this is the place where you'll be able to enter different rules and also assign a score value. So in this case we have an abnormal amount transaction and it detects abnormal amount of transaction and assigns a risk score. So in this case if an abnormal amount of transaction is uh, detected a risk score of 10 will be assigned and you can enable or disable uh, this from here and similarly if abnormal mouse behavior is detected we assign a risk score of 30 now abnormal order that means number of items shipped to a certain address is more than the average items shipped to the address that is fraud a goods drop off point and we assign a score value of one and if you want to adjust the score of any of these uh, validation rules you can simply go ahead and edit it for example let's say for abnormal mouse behavior i want to give a score of let's say 25 and i can put it in here and similarly we have a bunch of different rules so we have bad email login brute force attack card testing crawler detection device tampering disposable emails disposable font validators and we have duplicate transaction invalid email i mean a lot of different things so sensor forex gives us the opportunity to completely customize the risk score for each of these rules so depending on your store and the specific use case you might want to adjust the risk score for specific rules for example let's say you allow a shared ip and detects if multiple users are associated with the same ip and you allow that on your website in that context you can go ahead and put zero like this way you can go ahead and customize each aspect of every rules and everything else and you can assign a risk score and if you want to disable any of these uh, rules temporarily you can simply click on this option to untick it and this one right here abnormal amount transaction is now right now disabled and you can simply go ahead and click on the save changes option to make everything live and now if you move over to the policy settings you'll be able to find a bunch of settings here so we have account security policies transaction security policies new account security policies webhook security policies so basically these are all the security policies and basically we have three of them that is allow challenge and deny and as you can see sensor forex responds with allow when the risk score is medium and below you can set whether you want sensor forex to send device approval email when the risk score is observed to be medium so you can either go ahead and enable or disable this option and enabling this shadow mode will not take any action against users regardless of the risk so if you're testing something you can go ahead and enable shadow mode and all these things will be disabled for that time frame and now if you move over to the notifications and alert section you'll be able to send notification for various risk score so first up you can click on this uh, drop down menu and select the risk score and and also mention your email address so whenever a suspicious activity with the specified risk score is uh, detected the sensor forex system will automatically go ahead and trigger and send a email to whatever email that you uh, mentioned here and that's also one cool feature that is available within the platform and now these are all the different security measures that you can implement on your woocommerce store using sensor forex and one more important thing is that if you go over to the policy settings and move over to the webhook security policy 
a webhook will be triggered whenever a suspicious activity is detected with say a specified risk score so you're completely free to go ahead and customize this webhook security policy and that's also one interesting feature that is available within sensorforex and to view more in-depth log you can always log into your sensorforex account and you'll be able to find a more in-depth and detailed log as to why people were uh, restricted from accessing your website why the transaction was blocked and all other thing and you can also go ahead and mark safe or reject or approve if anything is pending for manual review so that's all for sensor forex for this one all right so this is basically how simple it is to integrate sensor forex to your woocommerce store to block fake signups disposable email bot transaction and a bunch of other things so the moment you turn on sensor forex on your woocommerce store it will go ahead and start protecting and start analyzing all the activities that happen on your store and depending on the risk score associated with whatever rule that you assigned the sensor forex system will take a decision as to block a user or block a transaction or put it for manual review etc and this way you can have a complete peace of mind and reduce chargebacks uh, fake signups bot and all other activities and if you want to integrate sensor forex into your woocommerce store your ios or mobile app simply head over to the first link in the description below and sign up for a sensor forex account and go through the documentation and integrate into it to your app so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one